Setting a boundary is different than holding a boundary. Often we're good at telling somebody something's not okay with us, but we're not great at doing something about it when they keep doing it. Usually that is because we haven't really done the inner work to get clear on what the boundary is, what we will or won't tolerate, and then what we're gonna do about it if the other person isn't able, willing, capable to do something different. We don't want to disrupt the relationship. We don't want to be the one that looks like the bad guy. So we'll often just keep tolerating things that we don't like, keep complaining about it over and over again. We keep kind of setting a boundary, but we never hold it. Holding it is something like maybe the first time you say it and just say like, would you be willing to change the way that you say that or, you know, choose different words? and the other person gets a choice to you know give it a try you don't have to start with having some big ultimatum or something like that when they don't then you say hey listen i had asked you to do that is it something that you are willing to do or where you stand with it and then they maybe say no actually i'm not willing to do it then it might be well listen here's the thing if you keep doing it then i'm not going to stay in this setting anymore the holding of the boundary is when you say something like hey if you're gonna keep doing such and such, I'm not gonna stick around. I'm gonna leave when you do that. Or maybe it's like a, a mother or something like, mom, when you talk about my husband that way, I'm gonna leave the room. You cannot talk about him that way. Maybe someone comes over and they're making really inappropriate, inappropriate remarks to you and you say, listen, if you do that, I'm not coming to family events anymore. The problem is we're so often not willing to take the consequences of our own boundary setting. And that's why it requires us to do the inner work to understand what is it that is most important to us. Set boundaries, hold them, and then be prepared for the consequences instead of abandoning ourselves. Because it's usually what we end up doing is we abandon ourselves because we don't want to be the one that is perceived negatively. But is that really what you want?